It is July 13th, 2018. We're here at 3211 Harris Street in Lemon Grove, California, 91945. We're here outside the garage and on the exterior wall we have a kitchen clean out. This is all new ABS plastic here. We have plastic under the sink, plastic in the wall, and we're going to go ahead and inspect this line. Now there's going to be some buildup as you can see right there, so we may have to turn some water on to clean off our camera head as we go down through this pipe. You can see it immediately kind of backs up there. So we're going to pause the video and just run some water. Okay, so you can see the water's running right now. We're going to let it keep running while we push this through because it's probably going to back up. Uh, through that first turn so we can see the water's running there nice and clear we still have an image this is all newer plastic pipe again scraping a little bit of that debris there from the bottom that's why we're going to keep the water running for this two inch kitchen drain line now there's a crawl space here um, so obviously somebody went in and replaced this because the original lines were cast iron And this is still all new plastic. Here we have a turn on the system. And another little downward turn right here, vertical. And this vertical appears to be dropping into the main right here under the house. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video and shut the water off. Okay, so we've shut the water off and it's just coming to a halt right now. So again, you can see this is where the kitchen is dumping into the main under the house. Uh, we have a laundry drain line in the garage here and that is under the slab. So the other parts of the house obviously we have access to. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this camera in the system uh, because we didn't notice the T-junction we were passing through because of the water and the buildup. But we're going to go ahead and switch cameras, leave this camera where it's at because we're going to go from another clean out to show the main sewer itself. So we're going to leave this camera right here as it's now touching into the main sewer. And we're going to pause and move over to the laundry. Okay, so we're now on the roof of the garage. We're going to go down the vent. There is a old cast iron clean out plug under the utility sink for the laundry, um, but that's probably never been turned where you can't really even attempt to unscrew that right at this point. So that's how we're going down this vertical vent. See there's a, a turn on the vent here because it goes around the window um, that's through there. So we'll see if we can even make all these turns or not. There's gonna be a couple in a row. doesn't appear we're going to be able to make all these turns. Uh, we have some heavy buildup in the line right there. So we're not going to be able to get through the laundry. We'll see if the, we're going to pull back, we're going to see if possibly the trap under the sink can be undone without the possibility of any damage um, because uh, we're doing this for the person purchasing the home so we can't make any alterations on the system. So we're going to pause the video move down to the ground level. Okay, so we move down to the ground level so we're here under the utility sink empties for the laundry. So again, there is the old original cast iron uh, clean out with an old brass plug. Here's the trap that is plastic, goes into a galvanized arm and then the cast iron. And you can actually see right here there's some black tape that's been put on. So that was the vent that we went up through the roof. You could see there was all that heavy scale and buildup and flakes of the cast iron um, and galvanized pipe and fittings. And that's all accumulated right there where they've got a band-aid essentially on the line. So whether or not that was leaking um, is what we're guessing. And they put some seal tape on there. So that's going to need to be repaired properly. Um, when that's done, this T-junction can be cut out um, at the same time. And then the can line could be cameraed from there. Again, this line is under the concrete slab running towards the house, um, towards the kitchen. So there's um, would be a dig up repair if this line ever had to be taken care of. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pause the video and just run some water down the line, make sure it's draining. Okay, so you can see we've got the water on full blast dumping into the 
system and we've got nice good swirl action all that water being sucked down the utility sink so the drain is obviously functional and operational we're just not able to get a camera down through that small um, opening um, that's there that we have on the cast iron part of the system so if this line is ever repaired for this other edge um, that's got some tape sealing on there uh, if they really wanted to that would be the time when the pipe is opened up and has some bands that can disconnect the line can be inspected at that time so now I'm going to pause the video and move over to the main sewer okay so we've now moved to the front of the house and here we have two cleanouts that were installed farther away from the house this sweeps towards the house they crisscross each other so we're going to go down this one first so it's a very shallow pipe there's the other t-junction right there you can actually see the sunlight coming through there so this is plastic and then you can see right here immediately goes back to the cast iron so the cast iron always has a lot of scale or build of deposits so that's why you can see we go from a perfectly open inside diameter of this plastic to a little bit of build up there on the cast iron and that's normal so we jump over that so the cast iron is kind of flat on the bottom essentially with all that build up so we're going to push across this line here we do have a small centering guide to try to keep the camera off the very, very bottom. Uh, we may have to remove that if it gets a little tight or caught up. This is a one inch camera with a small little centering guide that has some wings to keep it off the bottom from getting debris on there and kind of give a better view of lighting up the pipe. Just a little bit of debris scaled and built up in the line there. That's why there's these little pockets of water you'll see on occasion. You can see these little areas of buildup will create a miniature dam on the system. So this is all the original cast iron pipe still. This is again the main sewer which everything is dumping into. We have a T-junction that looks like right there. Or hub. Again a little pocket of water and we need to pass through that little area of buildup. So a lot of scale and build up, but it doesn't mean the line's not going to function properly. Uh, you obviously don't want to see all this water hanging out because that will um, speed up the process of the cast iron steel um, corroding and eventually rusting and falling apart. Uh, but that's what's going to happen with older cast iron uh, with those areas of build up again that's going to hold those pockets. So um, here you can see we're coming up to the very end or beginning of the line. This is actually a lot of debris right there. Even with our centering guide, we really can't see over that. So right there, as we get create a wave of water, you can see that was a little plug on the line. Kind of hard to see it. Um, a little bit more standing water in there than again what we'd want to see saw it for half a second for a little bit there we go so that's the end of this line we're about 31 feet out approximately from the clean out as we back up here on the line we may get a small view we could see it coming as we were pushing forward at a certain spot Let's see if the camera will come out of the water there that's being held in the line so right there you can kind of see there we go we can see the end of the line a few feet forward there. So again, um, this is all under the house, picking up all the bathrooms, kitchen, laundry, everything at this point here. So you can see this standing water in the line there from all those deposits. You can hydrojet uh, the line. Um, however, on really old cast iron pipes, if you're trying to scrape and clean those deposits off, if the pipe is extremely weak, it can actually cause it to crack or get holes in the line from the aggressive nature of hydroscaping using the high pressure water. Um, but again, uh, the line is obviously completely functional, um, just an older cast iron system. So we're now going to go ahead and pause the video, pull the camera out and go from the other clean out. Okay, so we just left that clean out and as you go just a foot and a half away, closer to the house, you have the second clean out. This sweeps away from the house, so we'll now go down this plastic 
That's where we just came down. We're now running across away from the house. Again, we're immediately going into cast iron pipe. You can see right there. And immediately after we enter the pipe, it immediately makes a turn. You can see we have an immediate turn on the system right there. Okay, so we have what appears to be some roots intruding in the line right there see at that hub so we'll pull back and locate mark that on the property we'll go ahead and take a photo of this so we'll continue down the line so just at about that 11 foot mark we have those roots looks like we've got some small real tiny roots starting to grow in the line right here. So you can see some very small, fine roots here. Take another photo of that. Starting to get in through the line here. And as we push forward just a little bit more past that hub, you can see the wall of the pipe. We've got some small little roots hanging down from there starting to grow in. So the cast iron pipe is starting to crack and fail here and it's allowing the root. So again, um, the cast iron line is cracking and flaking apart and it's allowing these roots to grow in the weakened pipe so here we have another small turn on the line looks like a downward turn here so you can see right there this is actually a t-junction so that's why the line looks like it goes completely open kind of up and down uh, that is the vertical t-junction what we call the property line clean out so before you get to the actual street here in the um, this line um, uh, when they built it uh, it was never brought to surface but that's what that was an access point in for testing so we're gonna go down the pipe here so this is vertical line that then immediately after just a short run you can see the cast iron ends we're now back to horizontal line and this is clay pipe so now as we push across the clay pipe to the very first hub connection you can see we have roots intruding on the clay hub as we push forward a little bit um, we've made quite a few turns here we may have to run some water to get our cable to keep pushing out so first keep, there we go got out a little bit there so you can see these roots here Grab another photo of that. And then you can see right here, they're growing along the wall, the cast iron, I'm sorry, clay pipe there. And then the very next hub, you can see there's more roots there. Now, unfortunately, clay pipe is uh, comes in very short lengths of about four feet, so there's a lot of hubs, and the hubs are just pushed together with a rubber boot that are lubricated up, so it's very easy for roots to intrude to these connection points for each piece of clay. Got a little bit of debris in our camera lens. It's kind of fogged it up, so we're going to pause the video for a second and run some water to clean that up. Okay, so we've gone ahead and put a little bit of water down the pipe as you can see so we can keep pushing down through this clay pipe that's in the street. This is still the homeowner's responsibility to maintain this. I haven't got any more root intrusions, so it looks like possibly all those intrusions we saw previous are due to the tree in the front yard, um, but we'll see. Okay, so we do have another small intrusion here on the lines. So you can see around this hub some small roots growing in as well. Another photo of that. A little bit of debris hanging off the bottom of that. Another root intrusion here at this hub. Take another photo there. Continue down the line. Looks like there's some very small buildup right there. Might be the very beginning of a root intrusion. small roots growing in there at this hub. Grab another photo of that. Another root intrusion right there. This one's a little bit larger but still not going to cause any issues right now because it's off to the top left of the pipe wall itself. So nothing's acting like a big web right now that's going to block or cause any mainline stoppages. 
a little bit of build up right there you can see starting to grow through the line that hub looks clear that looks clear that hub is clear Hub is clear right here. Okay, making a turn on the line, and we're finally dumping into the shared pipe uh, from the city that all the neighbors dump into. So, right there's the end of this lateral line, so just barely at about 100 feet or a few feet past. So I'm now going to go ahead and pause the video and pull back and just mark off some of the root intrusions. Okay, we've gone ahead and located this uh, last intrusion on the line. Of course, this is in the street. Uh, the line is kind of running along the right edge, so when you leave the front door of the house, um, it doesn't run straight out into the middle of the circle or the end court. It kind of hugs the right side of the asphalt curb where all the cars park, and that's where this is along. We've put one little green dot. It's actually kind of under a vehicle. Um, not that you're ever going to repair that, but we just marked it with a notation so we could see where we were at as well. So we're now going to go ahead and continue to pull down the line here. And again, the pipe with the clay, we're not going to need to mark every intrusion on the clay pipe because that's not something you're going to want to dig up or repair. This is just going to be maintained. Uh, if there was a repair, you would have to go ahead and do a liner um, because it's very expensive to dig up the street. Uh, but again, the roots are not very heavy at these all these small intrusions, so that it's easier just to maintain these. Um, an initial hydrojetting can be done to rip them all out, and then a foaming chemical can be done um, by that hydrojetter, and then the homeowner um, after that every once a year, every even nine months, to keep these from growing back in. So keep pulling back across. We do want to go ahead and locate the line as it does come across the front yard uh, so we can notate the path in case somebody does ever need to change out the cast iron pipe so they know where it transitions um, to the clay so we'll keep pulling back here passing all these intrusions that we've already again passed on the way out so here we go right here we're going to go ahead and push back forward to this hub here we're going to pause the video and locate this Okay, so we are in the front yard right here. We're about six feet into the yard um, away from the street, and the pipe is about five feet deep right here. We've marked it with a green line, or a green dot, I'm sorry. We're going to keep pulling back on this to see again where the horizontal ends, and it makes that transition back to cast iron so that they know if they ever had to replace the cast, which is right here. So here's the transition. We're going to push just to the edge, so we're going to go ahead and pause and locate this spot. Okay, so we've marked this area with some green paint. This is a little over 10 feet away from before you get to the street. Uh, so again, this is the spot where the cast iron is ending and the clay begins. So we're coming up that vertical turn now. And then there again is the original property line clean out. Now we're transitioning with another little turn to come back and head across uh, towards the line um, where we're eventually connecting to the clean out. So we'll go ahead and push forward just to this edge here so in case somebody ever has to or wants to replace the cast they know the entire pathway. So we're going to pause the video right here and locate. Okay, the pipe here is about two and a half feet deep only. Again, we made about a two foot drop, uh, making going down that vertical uh, clean out to be a transition across. So we're now going to head across this pipe. This is going to head straight over towards the clean outs. And again, right after the clean out, as we add another turn on the line. So here again is where we've got all these little fine roots growing in the cast iron pipe right here along this horizontal piece. So we're going to go ahead and pause and mark this. 
Okay, we've marked that pipe at about 28 inches deep. We've marked it with some green paint as well as a white stake denoting the roots at that depth. We're going to pull back across the line here. And here's where we have that other intrusion in the line. So we're just going to push forward right there and pause and locate again. Okay, same as the other spots, we've gone ahead and marked this with some green paint on the ground and a white stake denoting roots at 26 inches deep. So you can see we're coming just a few more feet across, and here's our turn on the line. It's actually, they used the T-junction to make that turn. And then we come back just another foot or so, and boom, we're into the plastic right here at the very front of the house, um, right at the cleanouts already. So we'll go ahead and uh, pull our camera out and show the above ground markings that we've created. So we're going to pause the video. Okay, so we'll do our best of our ability here to use this like a video camera above ground. So again, here's our two cleanouts uh, that we have on the property. The line leaves those clean outs and as it moves forward it makes an immediate left turn and then it heads across and here's the path of the pipe. You can see there's the front yard. There's our first root intrusion at 26 inches. Then the line goes across. Here's our next roots at 28 inches. And then we're going to go ahead and the line moves across over to here. Uh, we accidentally kicked this one out when we were walking back. This is where this line makes some turns and it's making all those twists and turns and then it's eventually making kind of a right turn and all those downhill turns and it eventually goes over to this spot right here um, at the depth of where then it gets really deep and transitions to the clay. And then it runs out. Um, going to be kind of hard to see unless we can get our, here we go, our camera over. There are some green, I'm sorry, yellow and uh, red discs on the ground right there. That's where that one root intrusion is, again, that we mentioned about six feet in front of the street. And then you see the white Audi, and then there's another vehicle in front of it. That's literally the path of the pipe in the street and under all those vehicles heading all the way out and across. So the cast iron pipe here in the front yard, unfortunately, is cracking and falling apart, and that's what's allowing the roots to grow in. So from the clean out over to where it transitions to clay, um, that is eventually going to need to be replaced sometime soon. And then the clay pipe with all its root intrusions can, again, just be maintained. does not need to be dug up or replaced. So that concludes the recording for this property.